on the west end of Jones Street. Each weekday starting at 11, a line starts to form. Locals and tourists come as strangers, dine together, and part as friends. Their wait is rewarded with the best of southern food from the region, shared with them by descendants of the Wilkes family for over 80 continuous years. Welcome to Miss Wilkes Boarding House. During World War II, the government took my grandmother and granddaddy's house. They had a farm and they took it eminent domain to build an airfield for the military. So they came to Savannah and they found a place here to live and she had a, a little boarding house with 11 boarders and she cooked breakfast, lunch, and dinner for them. And then she started letting friends come and neighbors come and before you know it, she always said one would tell another. And we've been doing that for 80 years, one telling another, so that's kind of how it's evolved. None of us children, our grandchildren, never really intended to do this uh, restaurant, and uh, my son never intended to do this. Hey, come on in, sir. How many do you have there? Two. You'll head straight across to the first table you see for me. Okay. Hello, ma'am. Every day we just meet 100 to 200 people that are so nice and so friendly, and it's just a wonderful place to be and things to do. We've had lots and lots of famous people here, and um, that's always fun. You never know when one's coming by, you know, and um, so uh, it's just always a new experience every day. This is quint quintessential Savannah. Uh, people come to a table, um, often strangers, they depart friends. Uh, that is what Savannah Strong is about, the spirit of Savannah, and why I love being here. When they come in, if they're the least bit hesitant about it, when they leave, they're best friends with all the people they sat with, you know. I loved it. That's why like I told everybody, I said, yeah, I know it's Friday, but it feels like Sunday dinner. So it's like, I really enjoyed that, you know. Got to meet some different people and, you know, come to find out one, one actual couple was from Florida, where we're from. So it's pretty nice, to, you know, to meet that, you know, we all drove from Florida to come here and end up meeting, but we never knew each other before today, you know, so it's pretty good. My grandmother used to say, if we could sit down and have lunch together, we might not have to fight all those wars we fought. People come here, they want collard greens, snap beans, butter beans, macaroni and cheese, mashed potatoes, potatoes au gratin. Um, it goes on and on. So we basically try to have the favorites every day, and then sometimes we add to it. Honestly, all my expectations are just blown out of the water. Everyone's super nice, friendly, really adds to the ambiance. And then the food itself is just speaks for itself. Uh, it's so delicious. You really feel the passion and love that they put into the food. So honestly, I feel really happy right now. A little tough to communicate because I ate too much, but you know, I'm hanging in there. The most common comment we have is, this is just like eating at my grandmother's house. That's probably the number one comment we have. It feels like you went literally to your friend's grandma's house and she just made all delicious food from scratch and all the videos and stuff I've seen on TV, the hype is definitely real and if you're in Savannah, you have to eat here. Absolutely. I don't know whether it's really that good or whether it's just sitting down there, it's so much fun passing the food around like one big family. Pass that chicken please. I don't know, but people say to me every day, this is the best food I've ever had, or the best food I've had in a long time, or, you know, whatever. But then, again, it's hard to get a lot of food like that today. You can't really, that much of a variety, and that food's so, a little time consuming to prepare. And so, it's just, it's just a bit of the past. It's a really bit of the past that we're holding on to. I don't know how long we will, but <laughs> we're holding on right now, so. <laughs> We just take it one day at the time. Like I said, none of us ever intended to do this. It's just one day at the time. It's wonderful for me to get to come here and meet people and help my children too, you know, so that's, I love doing it, you know. I don't know why anybody wouldn't. <laughs>